We are following breaking news in Pasco County, a news conference by the uh, police there. Let's listen in. One individual told us that he saw a blonde woman sitting in the truck. And I sit here and pray to God that that is true and that she has the baby. And if that woman is out there, if there's anybody, if that is a true fact and that woman is out there, please come forward. I promise you, all we care about is that little Andrew is okay. That's all we care about. The other one, too, is that we were told that there should have been a pickaxe in the vehicle. We have no indication that there's a pickaxe anywhere where we are searching. If there's anybody who might have seen a pickaxe along the roadway, anywhere, you know, a freshly dug site, let us know. We're still trying to work right now. We have many analysts that are working this case, along with our FBI and FDLE. We're trying to figure out routes this individual may have taken. Right now, we're putting the proximity that he may have been in Pasco County at this location yesterday afternoon between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. That was a very fast time by the time he got up from Miami-Dade. So anywhere else between 27, we think may have taken too long. We're suspecting it might have been 75. Anybody that may have seen the vehicle, we pushed as many pictures out there as we could of that vehicle, please notify your local law enforcement. The biggest thing for us is, like everybody else probably in the state of Florida and everybody watching this, is we're looking for the baby. Anybody with any information, please notify law enforcement. All we care about right now is that we get that baby back. Sheriff, let yep. me ask you, do you know whether or not this gentleman had any connection to this area? We're, we're still trying to find out. We don't know why he came off the location. It seems like he made a couple quick turns off of 75. Maybe he wanted to find the first wooded area he can get to. I don't know if I told you already, there was about a half a tank left of a diesel vehicle. We're still trying to calculate right now. Did he have to stop anywhere? Did he go straight through? How much was, you know, gas was in there before, diesel was in there beforehand? So we're trying to figure out, did he stop? Anybody with any information, if you've seen that vehicle, there are some very distinctive bumper stickers on there, on this vehicle. Please let us know. We need to find out because we're trying to track down any leads. Our best hope right now and what we're praying for is that he handed the baby off to somebody. There was no car seats in that vehicle. So... For us, how do you, if he did take the baby, travel with the baby a far distance, you know, how do you travel? As anybody knows, the parent, how do you travel with the baby that far? The baby still may be in Miami-Dade. The baby may be anywhere in the state. We just need to help anybody who has any information. Please let us know. Does he have any 